hi welcome i'm going to do a review and it's still on cleansing the skin i'm going to talk about a soap that has been the talk of town for years and i hopped on it years ago and i've stuck to it and a lot of people have also spoken about it experienced it and it is the dudu osun black soap so let's talk about ingredients first it has palm kennel oil the oil from the palm fruit the nuts right not the fruit the nut <clears throat> the one from the fruit is the palm oil the one from the nut is the palm kennel oil the kennel right the nut i hope it makes sense and then we have cocoa pod ash palm munch ash shea butter water pure honey lime juice osun which is a cam root and then aloe vera lemon juice and fragrance so dudu osun is a age-long african black soap made the traditional way by hand from pure natural ingredients and herbs from the tropical rainforest and savannah regions no artificial colors no preservatives biodegradable and it comes in a box like this with the plastic wrapper and the soap is black black soap smells amazing a lot of the black soaps we have do smell ashy this has citrus the lime lemon scent and i love that so it's not like you're using black soap and you're smelling like black soap so i love the smell and for this size i'm able to use it for six months and sometimes even using it as a bath so and you can also use it to shampoo your hair because it's black soap with natural ingredients so you get to use it in three different ways shampoo face body all in one. <laughs> okay so so now let's talk about more about the uses so it cleanses nourishes protects and refreshes your skin be it body or face now as a face soap after doing the first step cleansing if i'm doing the first step cleansing this is the soap i will use to wash my face or i'll use any other face wash it's very gentle that is one it doesn't retain the skin it doesn't dry out the skin because of the oils and the other ingredients palm um canal oil is really really widely used when you go to the interior the villages for so many things for cooking for body um lotions therefore i wasn't surprised that it's in the in the soap to nourish your skin it is one of those oils that i think we underrate but it's an amazing oil for our hair and skin again it also has honey and also aloe vera so hydrating ingredients and then it has lime and then lemon juice to help with the skin glowing and then the main thing is the osun the cam wood i will insert the use of the cam wood so you see it So these are the ingredients and what they do for the skin as i said it's very gentle on the skin non-drying i use it every single day morning and evening whenever i have it and i want to use except when i'm testing cleanses other cleanses then i don't use it but i use it every single day and as i said also as a body wash i prefer this to a lot of the bar soups so that is one Number two, I said it's not irritating, so it doesn't irritate the skin. However, if you have allergies, be careful. I do have someone who is allergic to aloe vera, so she cannot use this. If you're allergic to honey, be careful. If, <laughs> if you're allergic to um, lemon or lime or citrus, then you have to be careful. That's why I prepared the ingredients so that you know. 
most often we jump on products because someone has used it and is raving about it and then we jump on it and we say oh it's not working for me it could be a reaction you are reacting to the product or to the ingredient and then we just cancel it and say oh it's not working for me i always talk about allergies because when it comes to skin anything you put on it would definitely have some impact on your skin so if you have allergies you see it and also if you have allergies then you know to stay away from it that's the only question and I'm, I'm talking about it because i know my friend who is allergic to aloe vera she 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 just stays away from it like even though she would love to use it so that is one the other thing i'm going to talk about because it's a bath form it ladders very well it has very good ladder so i just wet the sponge or my palm and then i just put the soap on it i have a video where i use it so you see it then i use my hand if i want to use a cleansing brush i just put the ladder on my face then use a cleansing brush if i want to use my hands i just use if i want to use my sponge i use it and it glides very easily because it doesn't dry the skin when you apply it on your skin you actually feel the soothing effect of the soap on the skin it's really really soothing it's not irritating but be careful not to get it into your eyes it will burn yeah so those are the things i'm going to talk about and then in terms of acne this is what i know a lot of people want me to address i always say that acne treatment is a holistic treatment there is no single product that would you know clear it if you're going to use any product it should be in conjunction with something if you're going to use let's say uh, a scrub you would definitely have to wash before you use a scrub if you're going to use a chemical exfoliating ingredient or a toner you have to wash your face before you use it you can't just use one product and expect that you get the result a lot of times people come and they say oh my friend was using to do soon and the acne has cleared up and all that and i can bet you all the youtubers who've used it it's not like they just use the soap and they leave their skin like that they flow up with other products either moisturizer toners or serums almost everyone who uses it does something extra after using the soap so using the soap is not the all in all you know you need to hydrate your skin moisturize your skin in order to see the benefits because these things will definitely work on your skin and whatever blemish you want to control or get rid of or the spots and all that but that is not the end point after using the soap you need to moisturize your skin and then you'll be able to see the benefits so yes i do know that it helps a lot with blemishes that's the reason why i like to use it it cleanses my skin very well without drying it therefore i do not have issues with dry skin but again i'm not expecting it to do all the work i flow up with my moisturizers and serums and my skin stays clean supple soft and hydrated i tend to have dehydrated skin a lot my skin cannot tolerate a lot of exfoliating so even if i use one exfoliator i have to hydrate it so much to prevent the dryness and the first step in everything is to make sure what you're cleansing with doesn't dry your skin so that any other thing you're using would um, help your skin it's the same thing that applies to hair if you want to have moisturized hair you start off with the kind of shampoo you're using the same principle applies if you're going to have dehydrated skin then you have to use a product that will help your skin maintain the moisture okay so that's what i'm going to say about the dudu osun yeah and if you have any question you can drop it if you want any of the products i review you can check my shop at empress gram hub on instagram and also www.ganinempress.com that's where my um blog is and also shop.ganinempress.com i'll link them below so you can check them out don't forget to subscribe if you've not and stay blessed stay tuned for more videos nothing less bye bye